The 114th Fighter Wing is conducting its annual training at the Air National Guard base in Sioux Falls. There's no shortage of F-16s taken to the sky, but as Kelly Lines Travis Fossey explains, much of the training is happening at ground level. My forearms are on their jaw, they're uncomfortable. The 114th Fighter Wing is spending nearly two weeks training for the unknown. We're trying to build foundational skill sets in our airmen that make them more lethal and survivable in all environments. Survivability, being able to take care of each other medically, uh, lethality, being able to strike like you guys seeing these guys do here, being able to maneuver within the field of battle to get somebody out that needs medical care. Advanced combat casualty care is one of 14 training sessions being offered. Covering each other with offensive and defensive positioning and movements as they go from cover to concealment and uh, move a, an injured teammate out of the way and get them to higher level care. This is a four hour crash course on hand to hand combat with Staff Sergeant Tyler Grimm from the Robbins Air Force Base in Georgia. Striking, elbows, knees. Uh, various hand-to-hand -hand things. We're also throwing in weapons retention. So how do I keep my weapon if someone's trying to take it away from me? And then weapons takeaways. If someone points a weapon at me, how do I take it away from them and make it mine? Grim has been an instructor at Combat Readiness School for two years, but grew up in South Dakota, attending elementary school in Brandon. I was really excited to come back and train, see some people that I know here at the Guard, some family, and then just to work with the 114th Fighter Wing. They're a great unit, take care of their own. They've been a great host to us. He has one goal as an instructor. Showing people that they're capable of more than what they think they are. In Sioux Falls, Travis Fossing, Kelloland News. The Fighter Wings annual training started August 3rd and continues through Friday.